Yeah. Um, so with my background, um, I was, I grew up, uh, kind of in a toxic family household. So my parents, um, both great people and I love both of them, but you know, they were in an unhealthy relationship. And so there was a lot of verbal abuse and manipulation and, um, growing up as a little, little boy, um, a lot of times it was very scary in my house. And, um, my stepfather, once my parents got a divorce, my stepfather was also manipulative and verbally abusive. And I felt like to you um, or the whole family. To me, or? Yeah. To, to me yeah. specifically. Um, and so, you know, just kind of having this upbringing, um, where, I didn't feel appreciated or I didn't feel like I was safe or I didn't feel, um, a lot of times I felt like I was, um, like I was always walking around in eggshells and I couldn't, I couldn't maybe be myself or, um, I had to be very careful what I did or how I acted. And, um, you know, watching your parents kind of continuously arguing and lashing out at each other and, perhaps saying really, really hurtful things about one another to you, mm -hmm. um, kind of feeling used. Um, you know, I kind of ran to alcohol because I was introduced to alcohol when I was, when I was younger and I had a friend who was older than me. You know, I spent a lot of my life trying to find a father figure. Um, so I would go to older guys, you know, and older guys could be like two years older than me, you know, somebody right. who, had some experience in the belt, maybe lived on their own or um, was a leader of some sort. And so when you're 14, a 16 year old seems so much older. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, when you're, when you're in middle school and there's a high school kid there, you're like, Oh man, like he, he knows the way, you know? Um, yeah. So I really struggled with understanding like self care, self worth, um, and what love even was, you know, like sometimes I would say to myself, like, even if love came to me at the front, my front doorstep, I, I, I don't even know if I would recognize it, you know? And so I tried to find that in finding a, a father figure. And, and a lot of the guys that I met, I mean, you know, they, they, they worked really hard and they drank really hard, you know? And so, um, a way for me to kind of self-medicate and to numb myself but also be able to feel like I could say whatever I wanted to say. I would drink and I would drink with these guys who I looked up to and, and felt safe around and they weren't going to, they weren't trying to manipulate me. They weren't going to scream and, and yell at me or demean me. They were, they were telling me their life story or things to look out for, or, you know, watch out with this or work really hard for this. And, things like that. And so, um, you know, that was a, a big part of my teen years and then finding music, um, as far as like going to shows and that had a community of people that was felt like they were black sheep and felt like they were the underdogs and I could resonate with that community and that music. And so it really just gave me a safe place to be, myself and kind of figure out who I am and who, what I needed, um, and was kind of my home because my other home was very confusing and toxic and, uh, divisive. So, um, so yeah, I, I, I mean, I feel like, um, with where I came from, it was really hard for me to understand or comprehend what love looks like how it acts and um, how to connect with it.